I'm here at Wizis Forum 2012 with Henriette Esterhuizen, um, Executive Director for the Association for Progressive Communication, so a representative of civil society. Welcome. Thank you. Um, so this Wizis Forum 2012 has great ambitions. It is no, it's not only a stock-taking forum, mm -hmm. it's also uh, looking forward forum for uh, 2015 and after. So I'd like to ask you as a first question in our interview, as a representative of civil society, how, how are such events as the WISIS Forum important for you? Um, they are important because they, they bring people together, they, they bring governments together, um, and um, people from civil society. So it creates an opportunity for, for discussion, for networking, um, for debate. And, and I think for many civil society, members of civil society, they often don't have that opportunity at home. And it's ironic actually that you often have to travel to Geneva in order to have a chance to grab your Minister of Communications and, 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 and talk to them. So I think that is a real value of, of events like, like this. And you have mentioned that um, the Association for Progressive Communication has a new publication coming up, which is part of a project that is particularly relevant to ICT and the Information Society. Yes, so the, the publication, this is the, the publication, it's um, called Global Information Society Watch, and it's a joint project between ourselves, APC, and HIVOS, a Dutch NGO that we partner with. And it's actually an annual report. It comes out annually, and it started in, in 2007, and it was very much constructed um, and designed to be an opportunity for civil society to give their views on WISIS follow-up and implementation. Um, the ITU produces publications, other UN agencies produce uh, publications, but we wanted a publication that, that gave civil society organizations an, an opportunity to, to tell their stories. Um, so every year the publication focuses on a different theme, a different information society theme. In 2011 the theme was freedom of expression and democratization and, and the internet. And this year's publication will look at transparency and accountability and explore how the internet can both um, be a counter to corruption and, and help increase transparency, but also how it can sometimes create new opportunities for, for new forms of, of, of corruption as well. Well, could you tell us a bit of, of a few of the stories that have gone throughout the year from these yearbooks, one or two? Well, you know, I'll tell some of the stories of uh, from the 2011, because they are they are really exciting. Now, on the one hand, you'll find 2011 this, was uh, 2011. It was freedom of expression right. and democratization. So obviously, the the, the Arab Spring, the revolutions. Um, there are quite a few stories about that. Um, and those are very important stories that everyone knows about. But then there's, I find, a very special story for me. It's the story from Jamaica, where um, it tells the story of how a group of local communities and civil society organizations used SMS and other ICTs to organize and prevent the destruction of a forest, an old forest with indigenous vegetation, which has very special value for the community that lives there. And there was an effort by a developer and the government was, was going to go ahead to destroy this forest. And so the story is really just how civil NGOs started working with people in villages, getting children and schools involved, and they organized this campaign to, to stop the destruction of this, this forest. So, so there, there are many different types of stories. In fact, we, we have learned over the years that <laughs> it's sometimes better not to give every country a template um, where they all report on the same issues. Um, um, we can do that, but we find that by letting them decide within the theme what matters most to them produces better, better stories and more and more real stories. And how do you feel these very, in a way, individual or national stories can fit in in a format such as the, uh, the uh, WISIS forum that you have attended uh, for a couple of years now? Well, I think it gives an alternative voice. I think, you know, I talked about the advantage and the strengths of the WISIS Forum, but there are also many 
um, disadvantages. For example, this morning we had a, a panel where several governments talked about their initiatives to implement WISIS, but some of them happen to be very repressive governments where there is very limited freedom of expression. They're not going to talk about that, and we didn't have an opportunity to, to question them about that. So a publication like this <laughs> creates an opportunity for other stories, stories which you don't hear inside UN buildings sometimes, or you do, but only from civil society. Um, and also stories of things that are not so good, that don't work so well. Um, stories where, where ICTs are sometimes used in negative ways. And um, so we, we think it adds a perspective. We hope that policymakers read these stories and, um, and, and take them seriously. But the other thing I think it does, this, 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 this publication, is that this probably, I think it has nearly um, 50, more than 55 country reports. The people who write those reports are not here and they can't, they can't come here. But by them contributing their perspective on WISA's implementation, it connects them. It connects them to the global processes. It reminds them that their governments did make commitments. And, and, and so it becomes part of that process of, of, of civil society holding governments accountable um, at a national level. And that, you know, I think when the UN system works well, it works when governments agree to do public, in, to implement public interest oriented initiatives at global level, then they actually go back home and they do it. They do it in a cooperative way and, and an inclusive way. And I think this, this, this report helps that. It helps that process work by um, bringing the stories from the local stories, the local voices, and sometimes the critical voices into the discussion about WISIS follow-up. Andrea Dartwaisen, thank you very much for okay. coming to see us and we look forward to talking to you again. Thank you very much. <laughs>